Hello and welcome back to Canvas Studio. Today we're going to be learning how to draw an elephant. So you will need some paper, a pencil, a rubber and a black pen and your choice of coloured media. Let's get started. Now I'm going to be using a photograph by Gautam Arora who took this picture of an elephant in India. So it'll be an Asian elephant as opposed to an African elephant. And they typically have smaller ears than African elephants. So to start off, Let's draw an upside down X shape. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, remember. And draw it lightly. I'm doing it more heavily so that you can see it. Now cut that X shape in half and extend that line all the way down. That's going to be the elephant's trunk. And then cut the X shape in half again horizontally. Now we're going to be doing the ears, so do one ear on this side, just a rough shape like that, and another ear on the other side. Again, this is all rough. Now we're going to be doing what I can only describe as an upside down drop shape. So starting where the, at the top of the ears, do this upside down drop shape coming down like so and on the other side as well. It's gonna be the elephant's body. Now this horizontal line, extend this slightly and on the other side as well. And we're going to be doing a long rectangle shape, coming down and on the other side as well. Join up the rectangle and that's your first stage. Now in this stage, we're going to be adding more detail. So we're going to start off with the face. So drawing the temples on either side. It's going to show you where the eyes are. And to do the eyes, do a series of oval shapes going in like so. And the same on the other side. We'll refine these when we do them in pen. And the actual eye, just draw it a little bit darker inside. So this is where the trunk's going to start. So the trunk kind of goes in, then out again. All the way down. And the same on the other side. Goes in and then out again. And all the way down. Okay, so next we're going to be refining the ears. I'm just going to do the ears the proper shape. And the same on the other side. Coming down. I'm going to do the side of the face coming down like this. And the same on the other side. And then the head. So the skull has a little bump in it. Like that. There we go, starting to take shape. And then we're going to do the front leg. So where you see this rectangle shape, that's going to show you where the front legs are going to go. So at the top, just follow it down. And this elephant has its front leg, its right front leg in the air. So it's just lifted it off the ground slightly. And then draws some large toenails. It's great. Show the bottom of the body there. Then we're going to do the other one. So this one just comes behind here. Goes all the way up. And then joins up with that rectangle shape. Now the back of the body is going to follow this drop shape. 
So we're going around like so. And then the same on the other side. Maybe not quite so wide. I've done that slightly wide there. Okay, now all that's left to do is to colour it in and also to add some pen. We'll do it the other way around though. And there we have our finished elephant. I coloured mine in using watercolours, but feel free to use colouring pencils, crayons, acrylics or oils or any medium of your choice. If you enjoyed that, please do join me on the next one. And please remember to post your pictures on my Facebook page, which is Harriet Muller Art. Thank you very much for joining today and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.